Hello guys, my name is Rob Anderson and I'm the product training and demo exec for Pioneer DJ. Today I'm up at the DJ Kit showrooms in Newbury and I'm going to be talking you through the brand new addition to the Pioneer DJ range which is the XDJ Aero. So, brand new all-in-one DJ system which is the thinnest DJ system in the world, 45mm thick, very sleek, nice design and very well built and durable as well but featuring some world's first exclusive technology. So the first controller or first DJ system in the world that you can actually wirelessly connect your smartphones, uh, iPads, laptops directly to this and stream music to it. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to use the system, how to make use of all the features we've made available and how to wirelessly stream music, which is the main USP of this device. So, what I'm going to show you first, Recordbox Mobile, Pioneer software Recordbox, up until now has been reserved for uh, use on your laptop. So it's been a software program that DJs would use to uh, organise, prepare and optimise their music files for use with the CDJ range. Now we've got it on our mobile, so on our Android device, on our iPhone, on our tablets, and we can actually get Recordbox on the go. So this will sync up with my Recordbox library and give me, if I hit the prepare button in the middle, give me all the functionality of Recordbox while I'm on the train, whilst I'm on the way to a gig, while I'm getting my hair cut. Whenever you want to actually adjust your Recordbox tracks and information, you can do all this on the go. So if I jump into a playlist, load up a track, you can see here on the interface we've got full Recordbox functionality. We can assign hot cues, remove hot cues, set loops, and we can also zoom in and out and amend our beat grids as well. If I turn to the side, it switches so we get a nice uh, expanded view, just making it a bit more easy to see. So that's Recordbox on the go. Once I, any amendments I make to this, say if I move my beat grid so I change my BPM slightly and uh, just uh, amend certain things on here, when I sync it wirelessly with my software, all of that information is then retained into my hub, into my main uh, sort of Recordbox base. So all of that information goes straight back on there. If I want to link this with the controller or the system, the XDJ, what I'm going to do, if I place this in front, I'm going to jump back to the main screen, Recordbox Mobile, and actually hit load. Now, this unit is almost like a network router. It's got its own Wi-Fi signal. So this emits a signal and any device that can connect to Wi-Fi that has Wi-Fi in it can actually connect to this. So as I've hit load, this is now connected directly to the Aero. So you're not actually using your home wireless, you're not using any hotspots, although you can do that if you want. This is almost like a direct connection, so there's nothing else going to interfere with this reading that. And you can see on our uh, indicator at the top there, we've got now got one device connected up on the Wi-Fi indication. So, what I'm going to do, I want to access my music library on Recordbox Mobile. Focusing on the CDJ style section here, this is our source select. And you can see we can play from USB stick, which will be inserted in there. Recordbox ready USB sticks as well, so you can play your Recordbox uh, analysed files from any USB device straight from here, if you don't have a smartphone. We can also use it as a MIDI controller, so we can run a USB cable from the back to our laptop and control any major uh, DJ and virtual DJ and software, so Traktar, uh, Serato, Intro, Virtual DJ, you can control them all from this. But if we hit record box at the top, it's then going to show me how many devices are connected to this, in this case just one, my G Note, Galaxy Note. So I'm going to select that, and that has now connected the Aero, or this side of the Aero, Plat Array, Deck A, to that. If I then use the Browse 
rotary pot here, you can see on the software or on the app, it's actually scanning through that. So I can choose to go into my colour schemes or I can go back and choose my playlists like so. All of these options you're seeing available here can be customised in the software. So this is almost like your USB stick that you would use previously. You can choose what categories you want to be uh, displayed on here. If I go into a playlist and choose a track, that is now loaded into deck A, as you can see on there. So, a lot of questions about reliability of Wi-Fi have arisen since we announced this unit. Let's have a look at how responsive this is. So, it's seamlessly streaming it through and there's literally zero latency whatsoever. If you look at the BPM detection, when I slow down the tempo, it's instant. We've also got a nice little beat counter incorporated on here. So we can actually see when the downbeat is coming in, helping anyone who's starting out mixing to learn to count in time with the music. When they're queuing up deck B with deck A, they know when to drop or cue in the track. So what I'm gonna do now is load up deck B. So I'm gonna do the same process. Hit my record box button, choose my G note, and then I can actually scan through my app using this side as well. So jump out, go to a different playlist, and go back, and actually choose the same playlist, completely up to you. So that is now two tracks loaded in from the one I've, um, Android device. Now, syncing technology is not by any means new. On all of our controller range, there is a sync button which will work in conjunction with whichever software you control. But this is Recordbox Sync. If I press play, and I've got a completely out of time mess. This deck is my master, indicated by the light there. If I press sync, perfectly synced. Record box sync, uh, reading the beat grids defined by the record box mobile or the record box software program, and synced up perfectly. If I slow down or speed up the master deck, both tracks which are playing, slow down or speed up accordingly. Now, as you, you can see, it's seamless. You can see that there's no latency, no delay. But what if the wireless goes down is another major thing which everyone is asking. It's very unlikely that this is gonna drop wireless simply because it's its own independent ad hoc network. There's nothing else to interfere with it. However, what I'm gonna do, let's say I run out of battery, or for instance, if I left if out of range, if I went out to the car and I uh, took this with me, if I disable this, I'm actually gonna turn off the phone, power off, your iPhone will shut down. Phone's turned off, music is still playing. Now what is happening? The music is actually buffered. So the longer you play a track for, the longer buffering you'll get. So we should get roughly, we've, I've only just started playing this track, we should probably get a minute's airtime where it will actually still continue to read through the track. What happens if it runs out of buffering time? This will actually go into an emergency loop. So for any reason, if this did, go down and then you run out of buffer time there we go connection lost this will now in a moment jump into an emergency loop and actually give you four beats of music which will never stop playing that will continue to play until you actually mix out of it or fade it out and you're not limited with that four beat loop you can still actually control it using the platter and even jump back to the start 
So very reliable, very safe, and very sturdy. There's very little to worry about with this Wi-Fi control, uh, connection. There's different speeds of Wi-Fi connection and this re, uh, will connect up to um, N connection. So it's BG Wi-Fi N, which is different speeds, N being the fastest, 100 megabit. So provided your device supports that, it's literally going to be the same as having it hardwired connected, as if you had inserted a CD or a USB. Now, I'm going to turn this back on, and while that's turning back on, I'm going to show you connection to a laptop. Now, there's hundreds of Rekordbox DJs out there that are using Rekordbox when they play out on the CDJs, but don't have that set up at home. Now, what this uh, system enables you to do is actually now perform on Rekordbox whilst you're at home. So, Rekordbox is a free of charge bit of software, a free of charge app. You can download it, install it for free, and now literally use it with this in your bedroom. So, if I show you on my uh, airport, what airport um, options on the laptop, I can actually, you can see that the wireless is being emitted by the Aero. So if I connect to the Aero, anyone who uses Rekordbox will recognise what you're about to see now. Anyone who's ever hardwired Rekordbox into the Pro DJ Link will recognise this little link button down here. That's what you press to connect to whatever device you're using. If I press Link, we're now being displayed the Aero down here. And if I press record box back on the uh, controller, it's displaying my MacBook now, Rob Anderson's MacBook. So I can hit that, and that's now giving me direct control over the record box software. Street Completely street. instantaneous, no lag, no delay. So I can do the same thing, jump to my playlists, choose a track, and load straight in indicated on there that it's loaded in and loaded into here. Now you'd actually see that the track that was um, streaming from my phone run to the end as well. It actually didn't even go into a 4 beat loop because it was fully buffered in. So another indication of the safety of this uh, mechanism. So what I'm going to show you now, you've seen the connectivity possibilities the fact that you can connect four devices to this as well gives you uh, an element of interaction with a lot of other people. I could be DJing with this connected to my laptop and three people in the crowd or three of my friends can actually connect to this as well with my permission. There's, this is password protected Wi-Fi. So if I give someone the password, they can then connect. If they don't have Rekordbox Mobile, they can download it for free whilst I'm DJing import their music and then share their music with me, provided I let them. What I'm going to show you now is some of the uh, features we've got on the hardware itself. So it's not just a, a controlling system, this is a standalone two channel mixer as you can see on the back. So the, both the inputs for the mixer are phono preamp, so we can run in two turntables or we can run in two CDJs. So it's not limited to just using the options I've just explained to you already. We can run in any source into there. We've got balanced jack outputs. So the highest quality level of sound, which we're not using, we're actually using the RCA. So two master outputs, USB port for connecting to your uh, laptops and also a mic input over here. Now anyone using a mic with any other controller on the market may have experienced uh, a bit of latency or delay on the mic depending on their software, uh, de sorry, depending on the system, the laptop that they're using. That's because on other systems like that, controller systems, the, um, the mic is processor dependent. This is a standalone mixer. So the mic is completely processed in here. You've got your mic uh, level adjust and EQ and on off button here. So no worries about any latencies or delays on the mic. Looking at the effects, standalone 
built-in hardware effects incorporated from our DJM series. So we've got four what we call beat effects. We've got transform, flanger, echo and roll. So start with the echo. As everyone knows what an echo sounds like. Now, slight different method of using them. You literally choose your beat setting using this rotary pot. As you can see on the display there, set it to quarter beat and then turn the echo on. And then you've got level depth here. Post fader as well. Always nice to have post fader effect. So when we bring the fader down, the effect continues to bleed through, allowing nice transitions and just sounding more organic. We've got filters over here, which we can use in conjunction. So high pass and low pass. And I always like to use them together. So you can actually bring in the echo whilst you're filtering the track. Change the beat parameters. Now the really cool thing about the effects on here is they're quantized. Now this means the effects will always be locked to the BPM of the track that's currently playing. So if I slow down the tempo, take sync off. You can hear the echo speeding up with the actual track. Incorporated from the DJM 900 and DJM 2000, massively advanced feature, the fact that your effects will never go out of time with the track. I'm going to skip forward and actually jump into a loop using the auto beat looper here, 8 beat loop. Perfectly synced, perfectly quantized, never goes out of time. Show you the other effects. We have roll. Massively popular effect of the DJM series. Brought onto this flanger. Nice performance effect. And transform. Chops your track up to different values. Again, quantized. So it stays with the tempo of the track. The last performance feature I suppose that we've incorporated on here is the sample launch and the jog drum. And there's four samples preloaded into the aero that we can call up at any time. So if I want to call them up on the opposite deck, on deck A, I hold down sample launch and that brings up a bank of four samples that I can load in. We've got a scratch, a horn, siren and laser. So if I load up a scratch, I've then on deck A you got, if you're a scratch DJ, there's a nice cut on the fader, so you can actually scratch with this. If you can't scratch with in real life, we can use the effects on here to actually manipulate this, this sample. So if I turn on delay, Come back to the starter. Now what I'm going to do is actually use a transform effect. To actually scratch. And again, if I hit sync, it's quantized. Fully locked in there and never going to go out of time. So there you go. The main features, the main unique selling points of the XDJ Aero. You've also got USB record. So direct record incorporated from the DJM 850, which just means you don't have to mess around with sending the output to a laptop and recording externally. You can do it directly to your USB stick. This is going to be retailing for at £869 as of the end of August. So get yourselves down to the DJ kit showrooms and actually see what this can do for yourselves. <laughs>